Hello, my name is Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 24 of my 1 billion iron ingot challenge in Minecraft 1.16. In today's episode, I am going to build a nuclear fission reactor from the mod mechanism and a turbine to go along with that from the mod mechanism in this gigantic uh, cooling tower shaped building. So let's get started. So first off, I do have this building kind of already pre-built to what I need it for. So in the middle here is going to be the reactor, and then down in the basement we have different chambers that are going to serve different purposes uh, moving forward. But for right now, let's just go ahead and start building the reactor. So the largest reactor that you can build with the mod mechanism is 18 by 18 by 18. Uh, I am going to be building a 17 by 17 by 17 reactor just because uh, it kind of fits uh, symmetrically in this building. So on the bottom layer, we are going to have these fission reactor casings, and let's go ahead and place these down. And then I have a infinity wand right here, and let's go ahead and change that to the left-right restriction, and let's go ahead and just build this entire floor here. And my cat's going crazy. Okay, so we need to build this to be uh, 17 tall. Obviously, it is one tall already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, 16 more blocks, and we're going to build straight up until this stack of blocks is finished. And then that's how I know that I will be at the height that I need. So cool. There we go. That is the height that we need. And now I'm going to go ahead and build uh, the three other, basically, uh, towers here. So basically, the shell of the reactor... Uh, needs to be uh, fission, fission reactor casings and then the rest of it can or most of the rest of it can be glass that way we can see inside of it so let's go ahead and kind of build over from right here so let's go ahead and do that this is kind of the slow part of the process here uh, this reactor is going to be rather large which is super nice because it will be able to provide lots and lots of power uh, once I got done with my uh, system that I built in the last two episodes of the iron ore uh, processing facility, I realized that that thing uses a lot of power, like an insane amount of power, and I don't even have it uh, running as fast as it could at this moment, and that's because I just don't have the energy to do so. Uh, so this reactor is going to kind of rectify that situation, or uh, yeah, it should in theory. So let's go ahead and build this up. And I may have built that too tall actually, but that's fine. So the rest of this is actually going to be pretty simple to build. Do 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 almost there. Yeah, I kind of thought I had it too big. So let's build the last stretch over and then we'll kind of have the have the shell of this thing done. Okay, so here we go, and that is the last block there. So that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and start placing down some reactor glass, and our wand will be super helpful uh, here building this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it all the way around here, and then we're going to build it up with the wand. And I may need to grab more of this glass from my ME system. I'm actually fairly certain I will. Uh, just looking at how little of this reactor glass I have with me. Because each layer is basically a stack. So let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of the casing and then get some more reactor glass. I should have plenty of it made. So there we go. Let's change this to no restriction. And now we're going to just be building this up. Okay, how much do we have plenty left? So that's cool. Let's go ahead and build just a temporary shelf here. That way we can do that. So now that is fantastic. We have kind of uh, everything but the top essentially of the outside done. Uh, we will need to uh, add some fission reactor ports at some point, but for right now I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this glass or some of this glass for right now because next we need to grab the. Uh, fuel assemblies. So let's grab all of these. And I might even need to make more of these. I'm not really super sure. So let's go ahead and kind of start uh, near the corner here. And to be honest, I don't need to pack this thing as full of these fuel rods as I could. So let's just kind of start out with a pattern like this. 
and basically every other space is going to have a fuel rod going up. Uh, that'll just make it super easy to build with the wand. And my cat is still going insane. Not really sure what that's all about. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a misplaced fuel rod. And then we have just this, actually these two rows. Ethan, what do you want? Use your words, sir. Okay, so now I want to build this up. And once again, we are going to be using the no restriction mode and we can just go up like this. So I do need a few more of these. So let's go ahead and craft a hundred more. And I think that should craft relatively quickly. So that's cool. I already have like the, the steel made up and then I think the osmium ingots that it needs as well. So let's go ahead and try to finish this off. In the top layer here inside the reactor, we need, and actually I'm not sure that it has to be on the top layer, just on top of the fission fuel assembly itself, we need some other blocks. So let's, um, I think it's called something like control. Uh, control rod assembly is what it's called. And we need to basically put these on the top of all of these fuel rods here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm not super sure how many of these I have, but I have several, obviously. Uh, so yeah, this reactor should be able to make quite a bit of steam, which will translate to quite a bit of power. Okay, so that is fantastic. So now let's go ahead and put on the top here. And once again, my wand is going to be super helpful for doing this. So let's go ahead and grab this. Let's change this to the left right mode and let's go ahead and start clicking these down. Okay, I do have enough. And this reactor is formed up, although it is 100% unusable at this point because I cannot get in water, I cannot get in fuel, I cannot get out waste and I cannot get out steam. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have, have to add some blocks here. So let's go down to the basement where I'm gonna have all my IO and oh my goodness my cat is going crazy so this is going to be where i have my turbine so that's good to know so what i want to do here is i want to go ahead and add some of these fission reactor ports up here and i'm actually going to add three of these and i'm going to add two of these i don't know why i said three um so i'm going to have one there and there oh look we have a, a visitor so what I'm going to do is place those down and let's grab a crescent hammer because I think this works. Oh, looks like I'm going to need the configurator. So let's go ahead and grab my configurator. So let's, okay, we need to change these. So that's going to be uh, output coolant is uh, fine. And then we need to, I think this will be input. So we'll be inputting water from the turbine into the reactor. Um, obviously we're gonna be pulling steam out right here. It'll go into the turbine, it'll do its thing. It'll be made back into water and the water will come back into the reactor right here. So that should work pretty well. So what we're gonna do back here is I need a way to get water into the reactor. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to put a pump. So I need an access port for that pump. So let's go ahead and actually, I should probably put the access port right here to be honest. So let's do that. Uh, let's put glass back down here. And then I do need to uh, dig out a little area right here. And I'm actually gonna put this concrete down, uh, down here. And I need some water here. So let's grab some water. Uh, I need one more bucket of water here. And let's put that right there. And then we need a, uh, let's grab a bucket of water back and then we need a pump. So let's grab a pump. And I actually have a lot of these, but I should only need one. So I do want to go ahead and rotate this around. So let me grab my configurator and select this to rotate. Oh shoot, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do or have to do to rotate this correctly is come back here and do that. 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to have two pumps here. And I'm going to extend this over. And the reason why I'm going to have two pumps is just for some symmetry here. So let's put that down. Let's go ahead and make these all infinite water source blocks again. Grab this back. And then I'm going to uh, move this because I'm going to have two of these now. So we're going to put these here and here. I really like my symmetry. I'm maybe a little uh, anal about that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make this back into a complete structure. And then I'm going to grab a second pump here. So let's grab these pumps. And we're going to put them right here. Uh, they will need energy, and we'll put the energy conduit kind of right here and then wrapping them around. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I am going to go ahead and throw in some upgrades here. So I do want some speed upgrades for these guys, and I also want uh, energy upgrades. The pumps do not take muffling upgrades, so I don't need those. Sorry about that. Um, and actually, if I type in a bunch of uh, yeah stuff down there, then basically it won't get in the way when I click this button over here, or this button right here, rather. Um, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and throw in the speed upgrades. Um, while we're waiting on this, let's go ahead and grab some conduit for water. So let's grab the ultimate um, mechanical pipes. And we only need two of these uh, because the connections are just right there and there. Okay, as you can see, there's water flowing into the reactor. But that won't last long because these pumps don't have any energy at this point. Um, yeah, and I'm not going to super worry about... Uh, giving them energy right now because basically they'll be taking energy from the system that the system is making so the next thing I want to do is I want to build a turbine and I think that's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna to do today uh, I will I still need to build a system to make fuel and I still need to build a system to deal with the waste um, and that's gonna happen in a, a separate episode here so let's go ahead and grab the, some of the stuff I need for the turbine so I will actually need reactor glass because that can be used in the turbine. Let's get rid of, um, yeah, let's get rid of those for now. And obviously that as well. Actually, I could have kept the reactor glass. So let's actually grab a bunch of the reactor glass. I will need more of that. Okay, um, that zombie or that husk is kind of driving me insane. So I'm going to get rid of it if I can find him. Oh, he's underground, isn't he? Never mind. Apparently, I'm not going to get rid of him. He's. I don't know where he's at, but he's annoying me. Anyways, so. Let's grab. Okay, so we're going to need some turbine casings. Going to need quite a bit of that. Uh, let's. Let's do that. And then we'll need. We're going to need quite a bit of stuff, actually. So turbine vents, gonna need quite a bit of these guys. Uh, I might need even more than that. I'm not really sure here. So um, saturating condensers, we need those. Um, let's see. We need, we actually only need three of these, and I looked this up, and supposedly the most efficient design uses only three electromagnetic coils, although you can use more. Um, I'm going to go with what the internet says is the most efficient design, and hopefully it actually is actually uh, accurate information. So we do need one rotational complex. We have that built, and then uh, pressure dispersers. Okay, so we have... Uh, kind of most of what we need here. So let's... I'm actually going to build this from the top down. And I don't know if that's the super best idea here. But that's what we're going to do. Let's find the middle here. Um, and I don't want it to go all the way up to the ceiling. I actually want it to start not at the ceiling. So let's go ahead and start building this. So on the very top, we're going to have turbine vents. Obviously, this turbine is going to fit inside this hole right here, which is... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just turn off the mob noises because they're super annoying, and I should have done that a while ago. But, whatever. 
So my turbine is going to be seven by seven by 13. So the top side is going to be all turbine vents, um, except for the turbine casings, which will be around the edges. So let's grab those uh, turbine casings and let's go around the edge here. So normally, obviously, or normal people would probably build this from the bottom up, but I'm building it from the top down. Um, I will, because I'm doing that, I will need kind of a way to get back up to the top. So I'm going to dig this shaft right here that I'm going to kind of replace once I get down here. But uh, let's continue. So the next level needs to be uh, saturating condensers in the middle. Okay, so let's grab the saturating condensers. Actually, I'm going to make, this is going to make life kind of difficult for me. Um, there's a hover mode for this. And I forget. Uh, okay, so there's the hover mode. Um, this will make this a little bit easier here. Okay, so I think I just need these completely on this level. Yeah. Oh, and I messed that up. So actually, I don't even need to fly for most of them. Oh, shoot. And then on the corners, we're going to have more turbine casings. Oh, let's get rid of that. And then on the sides, we're going to have turbine vents. Is that a husk? It is. So let me get rid of this guy. Actually, these guys, there's more of them. And then, uh, let's see here. Oh no. You know what, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'll replace that concrete later. So I need turbine vents. And these will go around the sides here. So the next level is going to be uh, electromagnetic coils in the middle. Oh, there is my concrete. Um, let's do this for right now. Let's go ahead and place this back because we have it with us. And then let's get the electromagnetic coils back. And we're going to place these in the middle. Or from the middle, rather. So there, there, and there is fine. And then we need more saturating condensers around those. Okay, that was actually excellent placement. I didn't mean to do that, but that works. Okay, there we go. And then we can build this over. And then once again, we are going to have turbine vents around on the sides, and then we're gonna have turbine casings on the corners. So let's go ahead and, actually it'll be easier to do the vents, won't it? Yeah. And then these on the corners. Okay, so let's see here. The next level is going to be uh, rotational complex surrounded by pressure dispersers. So let's get the rotational complex. And this needs to be in the middle. And then surrounded by pressure dispersers. And that'll be, I think, this entire level um, besides the outsides of the turbine. And then once again on the sides we're going to do vents and then in the corners we are going to do the casing. Let's grab the casing. And so let's go ahead and with the casing build this all the way down. Um, actually, I need to figure out how, how big the reactor or how big the turbine is so far. So it's four. So I need another 10. So let me grab 10 of these and then build down from there. Because I do want this to be exactly 13. Okay, so there will be the bottom. Uh, let's, we can actually go ahead and build the bottom. So let me grab my wand, set this to be left right mode and then run this clear across like so. 
So actually, let's go ahead and turn off hover mode for right now. And because we don't super need it, and let's go ahead and build the rest of the shell here. And then I can use reactor glass for the rest of the outside. Uh, in the middle here, we are going to need some of these turbine rotors. So let's grab those. And basically, these go vertically from the rotational complex uh, to the bottom of the reactor here. So let's go ahead and build those out. And let's see here. Um, actually, I'm not super sure um, that I want, I might want to replace these bottom levels of uh, turbine vents here with turbine casings. And I'm not sure if that matters, actually. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, I do need turbine blades now, so I don't need any more uh, rotors. So now we need turbine blades. And what we do is we right click these on the rotor shaft here and they just kind of automatically appear so long as long as they can. So there we go. And the rest of this is just going to be reactor glass. So let's go ahead and get this out. And then I can use my wand to build the rest of this up. And I think I think that'll be just about it for the turbine here. Uh, and I won't be able to spin this up today because I don't have my reactor ready to go. But I can make sure that this will form up and be ready to go. So let me put a temporary block right there. Okay, so it looks like it's formed up, so that's cool. Uh, this will be able to handle a lot of steam, so that is good to know. Um, capacity, 28 million millibuckets. So basically 28,000 buckets worth of steam. So that is a lot. And it can handle a flow of... Uh, 2.7 million millibuckets per tick. That seems like a lot. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this thing running. But uh, actually, I can go ahead and run some of the conduit here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And actually, um, I might have... Yes, I forgot these turbine valves. Actually, I think I only need one turbine valve, so let me, and where do I, I think I actually want it on the back side of the reactor. I could do it on the bottom as well, maybe. I'm not sure if I could do it on the bottom. Let's go ahead and try to put it on the bottom. Not sure if that'll work. Yes, that appears to have worked. So basically, I need to get steam into the bottom of the reactor there. So to do that, we need the ultimate uh, pressurized tube. And let's grab a bunch of this stuff. Uh, let's get rid of most of this stuff because I'm pretty sure I don't need it anymore. My cat's going crazy again. Okay, so that should be enough of everything. So what I'm going to do is this is the coolant out, I believe. So we're going to run this just uh, through here. And then across the top of the reactor and then down the back side. Uh, basically kind of trying to put it out of sight, out of mind. Um, let's actually run it down right here. And then we just need to hook it up right here. And to do that, I'm going to run a little bit of a snake edge here, but that's okay. Okay, that should be able to carry all of the steam that I will get. Uh, I also want to get water back into the reactor, and for that I need some of the ultimate uh, mechanical pipe here. So let's get some of that, and we can run this ultimate mechanical pipe, I believe, from any of these turbine vents. So let's run it from the top right here because that is very convenient, and we can just run it back into the reactor like so. So that is uh, a good stopping point for today. So in today's episode, I built this reactor. Right now, it's not usable because I don't have fuel in it. 
I also don't have very much water in it. You would not want to run a reactor with this little water in it. Um, you can run a reactor that is not full of water, but having only basically 208 buckets worth of water is not enough. As you can see, it doesn't even like register right here. Um, and I also built this turbine right here. Uh, this turbine is going to be, um, it's going to provide a lot of power. And I will actually have to add some more of the turbine valves, I believe. But that's not going to be a problem. Uh, basically, the turbine valves are the IO, IO blocks of the turbine. So yeah, that's how I'm going to extract the power is just add some of these guys. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, I also uh, have these pumps back, back here. I do not have them hooked up to power, but basically they're going to be hooked up to that turbine over there and to the power system that I'm going to build for the turbine in this reactor. So if you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to drop a like down below. And if you enjoy watching automation type stuff in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and I will see you next time.